Hey everyone, Chad here with Digging History, and welcome to this week's episode. Uh, so this week's episode is actually uh, two different hunts. It starts out with Zach and I, we um, hit up this new permission that we got. It's a farm that goes back like eight generations. So we do a little exploratory hunting around there, and then of course today, it's Jeff and I, and we're out back out at the hayfields, as you can see behind me, they're freshly cut. So we're hoping to get on some good stuff here, so we'll see you guys on the first find. Hey guys, so Zach and I are out here. Um, we are hunting at a new site. This uh a farm that goes back uh, six generations, six generations, eight generations, um, and I just got on my first signal out here, um, and it's this. I'm not sure how old it is. It's just a hinge, um, but I'm gonna check with Zach because Zach actually already got on something a little bit better than that. What you got, man? Yeah. All right. Look for a house spoon. site. It's a pretty good indicator. It is definitely a good indicator. Nice. Just a, not sure how old. I'm looking look for some markings or anything like that. See if it cleans up. I mean, it just looks like it's plated, but cool. Nice spoon. Good, Good job, man. All right, let's keep going. All right, check out this awesome find by Zach. I'm joking. I actually found it and gave it to Zach because um, I found him before. But check that old axe head. That's old really single nice. bit, but look, they 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 probably toss it because they just wore this whole back out. Yeah. Sweet. Well, hey. Happy birthday, Merry Christmas, whatever you want it to be. It's yours. I know you wanted one, so there you go. I'll fix it up. Yep. All right. Well, um, another really shallow signal right there. And look at another one. That's my second axe head on the day. So I'm going to come over here. There's a stump out here. Add it to our collection that we'll uh, pull out of here later. All right, Zach. They're out here. Maybe there's a crotobel out here. That would be awesome. All right, let's keep going. Well, it's taken a little bit, but finally got on something that... Uh, was worth pulling the camera out for and got myself a little debuckle. That's cool. Take that. I like a little debuckles. Not bad. Um, there's a lot of signals out in this area where we're at, but um, not everything is treasure, right? So uh, digging a lot of trash uh, and stuff like that, but we're going to keep swinging through here because uh, we know that uh, Kind of right in here in the in the woods, uh, there was an old house. There's a foundation that we just can't get to it because uh, the grass is really, really high. So hopefully this fall we can get in there uh, when that's kind of got down a little bit and swing around that old foundation. But for now, we're going to poke out here. We believe the barn was kind of like right up here by this. i take my finger away where that stump is right there. Um, so we're going to keep playing around in this area. Hopefully there's more stuff here. All right, let's keep going. All right, it looks like Zach got on something up over here. So let's go take a look. I think I heard him say harmonica read, but let's double check it. Oh yeah. Hey man, sign of life. We like that. Deepest signal I've done today. Yeah, that debuckle was that I just got was was pretty deep as well. So cool. Six inches. Good job, man. All right, let's keep going. Okay, guys, I had a banger of a hit down in here. Uh, it was like 29:30. Um, this stuff is hard, and I believe I got silver. Looks like it's a napkin holder. Um, and uh, it's got fancy on it. It's even got engraving, engraving on it. Um, let me see if I can get this sprayed down and cleaned up a little bit um, and get some more information off of it. But man, whoo, silver today. That is awesome. All right, let me see if I can get this cleaned up. I'll be right back. All right, well, definitely silver. Um, the engraving on there, we can see... Um, it's actually this way. There's a G and then a C. Uh, the other one's kind of on the fold, so it's kind of hard to take, but definitely like a silver napkin holder. That is super cool. All right. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to keep playing right through this area, and hopefully there's some more um, shiny stuff like this in here. All right, let's keep going. All right. Well, a nice hit down here, and uh, I just plucked it out and check it out. It's folded in half, but it's like an old butter knife. That is cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm sure I can maybe try to unbend it. I don't know if it'll break or not, but cool. I'll take that. Nice old uh, butter knife. Just need a fork now. We have the whole set. I know, right? Yeah, fork in a set, and then we'll get on a bowl or something like that. Maybe have some lunch. All right, let's keep going.
Well, there's Jeff. He's up on the hill there. Uh, we're hunting alongside the hill. We're back at the hayfields, you can tell. Uh, the farmer actually cutting them this morning. So we're back out here poking around. It is a very hot day. Um, a lot of lines. Haven't really dug anything but ammo up to this point. Um, got a signal down here. It's fairly deep. Uh, I was down in there, um, and I plucked it out, and I got me a little button. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything on it, but check that out. It's a spun back. That's cool. I'll take that. It's a nice old button. It's thick, too. It was ringing up kind of like a... Uh, I went from a 19 to a 22. Um, I'm running the Equinox 800 today uh, with the stock coil. So, cool. Focus there for me. A uh, nice little button. I'll take it. I love my button. So, all right, let's keep going and uh, hoping we can get on some more stuff here. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, it's Jeff here. It's hot. The ground is dry as a popcorn fart. And it's hot. Slow going. Not a whole lot here. We've been here so many times. But... Right down in the hole here, got me a nice flatty. Might be, might be Tom back. And I can't really tell through the camera. All right, I'll take it. Well, still passing through here, and uh, got down here another. Um, it was like 17, 18, and deep down in here, and I just popped out another button. I'm not far from the first one, the spun back that I found was literally like two lines, well, the next line over, actually. I think I'm actually really close to it. But this one's got a nice shank on the back um, and everything. Nothing on the front. It's just a plain Jane again, but, you know, that's all right. Buttons are buttons, right? It tells a story, lets us know that there was somebody here. So, cool. All right, let's keep going. Uh, hopefully there's some more stuff like this and maybe some coins here, too. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Here Jeff here. Old White Sox Chad is over there. I'm just running the line in a place we've beaten up a lot. Hit a good 22. Solid. And I got another button. And get into some here. Focus. Looks like it's a spun back, so that's an oldie. Another spun back. This place keeps on giving. Alright. On to the next one. All right, still going along the hillside here. It is it is hot as can be, but I had a 27, 28 hit. Um, it was deep, and I've been digging for this sucker, and I just plopped it out here. Um, I'm not 100% certain if it's a coin or a big button. Um, I don't really feel a shank mark. No, nope, there's a shank post right there. It's a dandy. It's a big dandy button. That's a big sucker. We were just talking about how we just haven't dug a dandy in a while. Got a chicken on it? Uh, I don't think it has a chicken on it. You know what, we're gonna, let me get a toothbrush on this or something and see if I can clean it up a little bit, see if there's anything on it and then I'll be back. But otherwise, sweet, nice big dandy button. I'll take it. All right, we'll be right back with you. Big dandy. Well, gotta clean it. It is just a big dandy button. Unfortunately, it's a smooth one. There's nothing on it. Uh, you know, it's not a GW, which kind of wish it was, but I'll still take it. I mean, for this place that we've pounded so much to have a signal that came through that clear um, on here, um, I will definitely, Definitely taken. I'm not sure if that was from me or if that's an old schmack, but oh well. Either way, um, this might actually be my first dandy button of the year. I've um, got quite a few last year, but this is the first one so far this year. So cool. All right, let's keep going. We'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, there's Jeff. Jeff's hunting on a signal right there. Um, I just got one right here. Uh, 1920, and uh, just pop this nice little flat button. Fold it over shank. Uh, let's look a little convex, maybe a little bit. But that's cool. We're kind of up on top of Back Hill here. It is a very hot day. Oh, man, it doesn't look like there's anything on it, but cool. I'll take it. I like buttons. So let's uh, focus. Let's keep going. Let's hope some, there's some more stuff here. Well, hey, everyone, that's it for this week's episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so uh, because all of that stuff just helps out with our analytics and helps us continue to grow the channel. Um, and speaking of growing the channel, we just recently hit 750 subscribers, which is completely awesome. So thank you to everyone for your support on that. Um, the guys and I are actually planning a huge giveaway for when we hit 1,000 subscribers. So between now and then, we've kind of thrown in some hints into our videos as some of the things that we're going to be giving away um, 
in that big giveaway once we hit a thousand subscribers so help us get there um you know share out the channel with your friends and stuff like i said if you're not already subscribed yourself please consider doing so um everyone who is subscribed to our channel will be eligible to win so good luck with that um help us grow help us get there um because we enjoy doing this we enjoy bringing you guys this content each and every week so as always we appreciate your support and thanks for watching